Hey guys, it's Bank Robot PC Gamer here again. Just come with a bit of an update with my recent project which included the Corsair H90 all-in-one cooler and the NZXT Kraken G10 bracket. Now, I have got round to fitting the VRAM heat sinks as you can see they're bright blue. Unfortunately black was out of stock but they're quite out of sight anyway so there's not exactly an eyesore. But they do a great job of keeping the VRAM cool so I don't want to risk them burning out because they don't really have any dedicated cooling. Um, I did also make a few other changes. One was with the orientation of the fans. I now have um, the static pressure fan doing the pushing and my airflow fan doing the pulling. And as a result that has made temperatures drop quite dramatically as well. Another change I made was to remove the stock thermal compound that you get with the Corsair H90 and replace that with some Cooler Master E1 IC Essential. Now all of those steps which I've mentioned have resulted in much lower temps than I previously showed you guys. So what I'm going to do now is show you my new overclock settings and show you some benchmarks. Okay guys let me just quickly go through the settings I use for this comparison. Um, I increase my voltage to 75 this time. My power limit has been increased to 120 along with the temperature limit at 92. Core clock I increased to 220. Anything above that um, the GPU does crashes. I've done numerous tests. There's no way around it. I can now restore my memory to 500 but for some reason on my GTX 1080, um, if you put it to 500, it exceeds 500, so 496 seems to be 500. So these are my new overclock settings. Drivers, again, 368.81. Um, Intel i7-5960X overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. And I'm also using 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 running at 266 megahertz in quad channel. So that's it for the specs, check out the new results. Honor in the fatherland. Oh, jeez. Oh! Ooh. You look fucking amazing. On top of me.
to say I'm very pleased with the end results, temperatures dropping almost by half. Max now at 48 um, degrees Celsius, so that's a massive reduction in temperatures. And also, idle speeds are, idle temperatures are around 30 to 34 degrees Celsius as well, so all round, um, a higher overclock, more stable, and a quieter operation, so I achieved everything I set out to do with this project and um, pretty ecstatic with the results. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching.